let's uh, make your looker study dashboard a bit more fancy. Look, we have uh, this option to change our dimension in this table and compare, for example, with this table. So you have to we allow our users to use different dimension in the same page and change it when they want to do it and change metrics but it's like metrics are more simple i already have a video about this uh, and today we will talk about dimensions and how to change it like session source and first user medium we can see it in one screen and we give more options for our users so let's talk how to make it. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. On my website gallerreports.com, you can find some templates for marketing. And if you didn't check it yet, I really recommend you to check. But let's keep it for later and uh, let's work on our dashboard. Let's go to edit mode and uh, see what it is and how did I make it. So I create a table based on Google Analytics data and in this table, for example, I want to see um, source mm. source platform session source uh, session source medium and I want to see sessions and um, purchases total purchases doesn't matter in this case i can make this table a bit bigger and uh, i want to wrap text and um, uh, this i don't need and i want to make it center by center to align it by on center um, if I want to add like super fast thing, if I um, I have report filter, I don't want to use this filter for this table, and for this, okay. Uh, then I want summary row and uh, like about um, metrics, additional metrics. I can use optional metrics and add here, I don't know, active users, for example. And uh, when I do it, I have this like little icon, and where I can change. But uh, by the by default, uh, you cannot see this icon. So I go to style and uh, chart header. Sh always show that our users can see this icon all the time, and they have opportunity to change metrics. Uh, then uh, other things that we have, uh, we can add drill down. And when we talk about dates, we can, um, like, it will automatically work. With other metrics, it doesn't work. So we can add here uh, session, session source, mm, for example, and session medium. Uh, session medium. In this case, you will see little errors. And in a view mode, you can do like you can click here and drill down from session to session source. And you already have some uh, options that I use quite a lot in my dashboard. Uh, when you work with Google Ads, for example, it's really nice. You can change from a from campaign to ad group ads and ads level. It's really nice, but it's not so fancy as it is right so let's see how to make this one uh, let's click edit let's remove our drill down we don't need it and we will go to add control and dimension control and we click create um, like our like other filters and uh, this we can tell us that remove border and here we can give options to our clients. By default, it is default channel group. I can re rename it to channel group. Then I can change it to source 
Mm, let's check session source. Uh, medium. It could be session medium. Then it could be source medium. And then it could be campaign. Let's see if it works. Session campaign. I have sessions in my table, so I, in dimensions I selected session based dimensions. And how it works, if I click here, I have this option that we have. And if I select channel group, all chart in page, I will change the dimension to channel group. If you don't believe me, don't. You are right. We, let's create another chart. And it will be like this. And by default, it will have event name, for example. And this table it will be here. And this chart will be here. So we have two charts. And this, the second chart, has nothing related our source medium its event name but when we work on this we can change the source medium and all charts will update it you see no organic referral is the same so this is super funny <laughs> super funny control that we can give to our users mm, but it is again it is not at all so how can we improve it First of all, I really recommend you to use grouping, um, so we can group these elements together, this two and this not, Control G, or you can click right mouse button and here we have group and ungroup, and in this case, okay, let's update the page, let's update the page, and... Uh, Okay, here we have event names as we had before and these two tables we grouped so we can change to source medium and only this chart will be updated because we grouped them. So we can update only this chart. And the next moment we can just move uh, ungroup control shift J and we can just move this uh, filter, this control to our header of our table and we can style, uh, change style if you want to add something, I don't know, whatever. Um, you can update, update, update it. To, and that's it. That's how this trick was made. And you can create, as I did here, like two tables to compare in one screen two different dimensions and give your users total control of the dashboard. And I really like it. Uh, this is why I really like Looker Studio, because it's really powerful. It's simple to start, but it is really powerful if you know some tips and tricks. And you can create really complex dashboards already with this tool, uh, with, with tools that you have now, now it's, it's August 24. Um, that is it about this video. You can experiment. I think with Google Ads it will work perfectly. It will be really funny to work with um, geo charts, geographical charts, because you can play around with cities, uh, countries and uh, states in US. So it's a really nice feature. I hope you like it and you will use it in your dashboards. If you are new in Looker Studio or you don't have time to create the dashboard from scratch, I recommend you to check my online store where you can find nice dashboards for marketing and sales. I have a lot of examples. Hopefully you will find something interesting for you. Uh, what I can recommend you like a horse analysis. This is weekly. I have monthly. I have... Um, nice google ads new report that i can recommend you also some interesting thing about new and return customers analysis that i did for several clients and i really enjoy enjoy it mm, that is it feel free to ask questions if you have uh, check my online store and uh, make your dashboard a bit more fancy every time <laughs> good luck with that and see you soon